Hi, today we'll be covering Python development for the Fidget SBC. So here we have our SBC set up. We've covered how to do that in a previous video. We also have our humidity fidget plugged into the built-in Vint Hub on the SBC. There are two ways you can go about developing. You can either plug in a keyboard and monitor directly, or you can develop on an external machine, as we'll do here. Before dealing with any code, let's start by creating a project on the SBC web interface. You can start a new project on your SBC by navigating to the Projects tab. Here, you'll see an option to create a new project. This creates a folder in which you can place all your project-related files. If you click the folder, it opens up to this window. You'll notice you have the options to upload files and create directories. To start developing with Python, we'll need to install it on the Fidget SBC. In order to do this, we'll use PyDE to access the terminal from our development computer. You can enter the following command in the terminal to install Python on your SBC. Now that we have Python installed, we need to download and install the Fidgets Python library to our SBC. The easiest way to do this is using the command line. I'll start by using a wget command to download the files from our website. Next, I'll unzip the file and install the library. We've downloaded one of the Python examples to our development machine and need to transfer it to the SBC. Here, it's only one file, so I'll do so using the SBC web interface. You could also use a tool such as WinSCP to transfer multiple files more efficiently. In order to run the program via the web interface or on startup, we simply need to add a shebang to the top of the file to make it runnable as a standalone application. We can use the built-in text editor to do so. Next. We can make sure the correct script is selected and save the changes. We can now start the program. We can see the program output by clicking on the standard out button. If I want this program to run on boot, I can go back to the project page, make sure the enable button is selected, then save changes. Thanks for watching this video on developing for Python on a Fidget SBC. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. For any other information, please check out our website.